I'm just thinking about this presuppositionalism stuff that's being talked about right now on YouTube. I think it's prompted largely by this character Cy Ten Bruggen Kit, I think it is. He was a Christian apologist who was using presuppositionalism to argue for the existence of God. I'm not sure if I got it right, but I think what he's basically saying is that the idea of God is kind of axiomatic. It's something that you presuppose before you do anything else. Uh, I think in that discussion that Thunderfoot recently had with, uh, what's he called, Hovind, that Hovind character, um, Thunderfoot was using this example of presuppositions in saying that we, we, we all do presuppose stuff, sure. We, pre pre we presuppose that we exist. We presuppose that the universe exists. We might go on to presuppose that, it's, that we can know something about the universe. And you pretty much have to have those in place before you can start excavating what that knowledge might be, but they're not unreasonable presuppositions, are they? And certainly the first of those, the presupposition that I exist, has got a bit of a history, you know, I mean, it goes right back to the, to the cogito, doesn't it, Cart the Cartesian cogito argument. Um, so I'm just wondering, how is it that, but I mean, did, by, by comparison to those, at least to myself, and I guess to other atheists, when we hear somebody like this uh, Ten Bruggen character, or other people who are using presuppositionalist arguments as, as, as apologetics for religious belief, they sound ludicrous. They just sound fake. But I'm, I'm trying to think, what must it be like? You know, what what is going on in those minds? What what, are they, what does it feel like to say those things? You know what I mean? Because that's, that's where understanding lies, I think. And to me, it, it seems to me that unless they're just lying, and I'm assuming they're not for the sake of this argument, I think what it must feel to them as certain to say that we can just presume God exists. It must feel as certain as me saying, well, I have to presume I exist. I have to assume I exist. Yeah, I, I have to, to, to reach the end point of that Cartesian doubt, that process of radical doubt that Descartes goes through in, in um, meditations. You know, where you, you doubt everything else, you doubt the truth of your senses, you doubt your memory, you doubt everything that you know. Um, and what's left at the end of that doubting is the kind of subject that is the, the focus of that doubt, the, um, the, the I am that is doing the thinking. I, I presume to a Christian apologist who is using the suppositionalist argument, it must be as certain as that. You know what I mean? That, yes, everything else could be lying. You know, the, the scientists could be planting fossils. Um, the, uh, the history of the world, which seems to go back longer than 6,000 years, that could be an illusion. The, um, all of the, the scientific theories about from geology, which demonstrate the age of the Earth, all these things could be fake. But the one thing you can't fake, I think, is that absolute certainty at the core of your being, which says... I slash God in that case exists. Do you know what I mean? It must be. It must be. It must be that certain. I think it must be like saying I exist, but instead of kind of pointing inwards to an inner I, you point. You just you kind of imagine outwards to a universal I, an I writ large. You know what I mean? Because there's that old saying, isn't there, about God is man writ large? It's, it must be kind of like that. How can you possibly say that God couldn't exist? I am completely feeling it. And I wouldn't be able to say these words if God didn't. It must be like that, I think. I think, where, which is kind of fine, actually. I don't have a problem with that. Except that then they don't do what Descartes did. Because what Descartes did was strip back to this radical doubt and then very slowly start to rebuild. I mean, I know there was problems later on with that, but um, they don't do that. They don't strip it back properly. And then they start to say what God is like. You know, which would be the equivalent of like God doing the cogito ergo something. I think, therefore, I am, and then going on to describe exactly what I is like. You know, exactly what I wants, exactly where I came from. But you can't do that if you're employing the method of radical doubt. So, um, if you take back to the first supposition that God exists, you can't say anything else about the character of God. You would have to work to discover that, and the philosophical strategies for discovering that. In the same way, there are philosophical processes for building on what the cogito arrives at. But they don't do that, you know. They, they, they say, oh yeah, well, I feel this thing called God, and it's exactly like this, and here's the book. You know, that's, that's where it all falls flat, really, for me. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't really have... Um, I suppose I don't mind the suppositionalist argument. If only they'd take it on as philosophers. You know, if only they, they'd, they'd own it, in a way. You know what I mean? Really own it. I know this absolutely, as surely as you know that you exist. Because I think there's a, there is parallels, isn't there? Because, you know, if you look at you know, cognitive neuroscience and all that kind of stuff, we, we know from that that I doesn't exist. You know, this thing that feels like an I. Oh, it exists. That doesn't, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't exist. But it doesn't exist in the way that it feels like it exists. It, it, it exists as an ongoing story that the brain is telling another part of the brain. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's that kind of, it's, it's like a character in a story, this I that keeps being posited all the time. But it doesn't feel like that. And I'm guessing that was it must feel like to a presuppositionalist. It doesn't feel like God is just a character in a big book. It feels like I feel right now, alive and awake at the beginning of the 21st century.